Janine Coyle from WGRR. I'm here at the SPCA in Sharonville. I am so pleased to be here. I have a very special book I want to read to you today. If you are thinking of adopting a dog or a kitty cat or a rabbit, even a snake, you will want to read this book because it'll get you prepared to love your pet. It's called Love Me Gently and it's by Lisa Weabrink and it is illustrated. All the pictures are by Eleanor Harbison and she is fantastic. For Henry and Jack, my greatest inspiration. Hi, my name is Henry, and I am so excited because my family just adopted a new puppy. We named him Cooper. Having a puppy is fun, but there's a lot for both of us to learn. Most importantly, if I love Cooper gently, he will grow into the best dog ever, and I will have a terrific friend. Wow, puppies sure eat a lot. Mom says it's because they're growing just like me. When Cooper is eating, I stay far away from him and his food bowl. He may think I'm trying to take his food and growl at me or even try to bite me and that might hurt. Instead, I wait until he is finished and that makes him happy. Just like me, puppies need to learn lots of new things. We're training Cooper to potty outside. If Cooper makes poo-poo or pee-pee on the carpet, I don't get angry or scold him. That might hurt. Instead, I patiently guide him where to go and that makes him happy. Puppies are cute, just like me. Cooper is soft and cuddly. He especially likes it when I rub his fluffy tummy. I never pull his ears or tail, and I don't squeeze him too tight. That might hurt. Instead, I pet him tenderly, and that makes him happy. Just like me, puppies have lots of energy. Cooper loves to play, but he gets tired very quickly. When he is sleepy, I let him rest or even take a nap. I don't poke him to wake him up. That might hurt. Instead, I wait until he is ready to play again, and that makes him happy. Cooper has baby teeth, just like me. Dad says he likes to chew on things to make them feel better. Sometimes Cooper takes my shoes and toys to chew on. If Cooper makes the wrong choice, I don't hit him. That might hurt. Instead, I give him his own toy or a puppy bone to chew on, and that makes him happy. Just like me, puppies are curious about the world around them. Cooper especially likes to go for walks in our neighborhood, but he moves a bit slow. I never pull on him to go faster. That might hurt. Instead, I walk alongside him, letting him sniff and explore as we go, and that makes him happy. Puppies love to play just like me. Cooper likes when I toss a ball for him to fetch. I never throw the ball at him. That might hurt. Instead, I toss the ball so he can run to get it. And that makes him happy. Puppies are fast, just like me. If I leave our door or gate open, Cooper could escape and run into the street or even get lost, and that might hurt. Instead, I have to remember to do my part to keep him safe, and that makes him happy. Puppies are smart, just like me. They can even learn tricks. Cooper is learning how to sit and stay. Sometimes he gets confused, but I don't shout at him. That might hurt. Instead, I nicely ask again or gently show him what to do. I give him a yummy treat or a pat on the head when he does something right, and that makes him happy. Puppies need to eat special food made just for them. I would like to share my favorite foods with Cooper, but it might not be good for him. It could even give him a tummy ache, and that might hurt. Instead, I make sure that he only eats his food and not mine, and that makes him happy. My 
my family named Cooper for a very special reason. He wears a dog collar with a name tag at all times. If I take it off and he gets lost, he may not make it back home. That might hurt. Instead, I always leave his collar on so that he will be returned home to my family. And that makes him happy. Just like me, Cooper is growing and learning every day. If I am kind, patient, and gentle with him, he will become a well-behaved dog. Cooper is my best friend and a very special part of my family. He loves me as much as I love him. And that makes us both happy. The end. Wasn't that a fantastic book? So if you bring somebody from your family or maybe a friend and you're coming to the SPCA to adopt a little dog or a kitty cat or any type of animal I have here at SPA Cincinnati in Sharonville, you'll want to read this book because it'll prepare you for everything you need to know. And you know what I love about this book too? Sometimes we as adults have older pets and then we forget what it is like to have a young puppy or a young kitten in the house and we have to kind of prepare ourselves again too. I am so glad you've been with me here today to read this fantastic book. My name's Janine Coyle. It's nice being with you. Bye.